Here's my phone. My app is called Our Vote. And as soon as you open the app, you get started with a prompt. If you're an, if you're not an existing user, you can create your own account by putting in all your details. Or if you already have one, you can log in with your own account. I'll just I'm going to create one quickly. And you can look at your passwords if you want, but I just created a random one. So as soon as you click create a new account, you can you can choose from, from bill preferences. This the app allows you to see different bills in Congress, so you can educate yourself or others about bills in Congress if you want to learn about new and uprising topics. Let's say I want to learn about finance, education, healthcare, or security about the world. I'll hit continue, and as soon as I do that, this table this table starts appending with topics about all the bills currently in Congress, and so and on the tables it shows whoever who who what whatever senator did it, the date it got introduced to Congress, and a little summary of what that bill's about. I can click on Dan Crenshaw here, and it gives us a lot of information. The elephant over here represents how it's how they're a Republican senator, and it's a federal legislation. The second line is the title of the bill. And the third line is the senator. The fourth line is how when it was introduced, and it's that. And the fifth line is how, what its status is right now. This button, open and read bill, it will take you to the actual bill, and you can read through it to see what it's actually about. The summary gives you a full summary. It could either be short or it could be long, but in this case it's short, but on other ones, it could be very long. On the roll call vote, it'll show you the latest votes that are currently in. Right now it's the not, not there were no votes so far, but it could show like 265 to 235. More info takes you to the congress.gov page of the bill. You can see a lot more information about everything and it's a tracker in it. it this is where like the community part comes in. You can vote on your own. You can vote on each bill through the community. So I, if I read this vote bill and I thought it was good, I can vote yes, I like this bill. And this is only with the community. It's not, it's not with the congress or anything. And there's a conversation and you can explain why you did it or look through this to see if you can people can sway your vote. And it'll automatically go to it. You can also favorite bills to see look at them later. Uh, can I share some of my code? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is this is where I built it in Xcode. It also uses Firebase to for authentication and for data storage of all like the bills, the things, the bills that have been voted on, and all the con the conversation threads. So this is what it looks like in total. There's a lot of different things you can do. This is the discussion. This is the main page. This is both of the little mini pages, and this is where this is where all the bills pop up. This is where all the bill categories you can pick. And these are the setup, and that's the home screen. These both of these, the sign up and login, allow you to both contact Firebase and check if you've already logged, your account has already been created, or so you can log in or create a new one. This one saves all your preferences that you've picked and sends them also to Firebase. These, these three right here populate the table cell to, so you can see all your bills based on your preferences that you picked previously. These are for the discussion that you can talk with the community. And everything is stored in the Firebase here. 
Okay, that's it.